good afternoon. It's day 119. We're just leaving the Best Western here. We finally got a ride. We should be here in a few minutes. Take us back to the trail and uh, we'll give you an update once we get there. It's very hot. Very hot. <laughs> Our backpacks are very heavy. But we got good food and uh, we are excited about what our new section is going to be like. We've had breakfast and lunch, so we should be nice okay. Time. See you later. Thank you, Mount Chester Taxi, for bringing us into the trail. It's uh, what time? Three? And we're starting our hike today. 252. 252. Oh, yeah, we have to walk up to the trail, but we're close. 0.6 to the trail. It's a beautiful day. It's um, nice and hot. <laughs> nice, clear sky. And uh, we're feeling good. We're feeling strong. We're feeling ready to uh, start our hike. We have. It's 81. 81 yeah, degrees. Yeah. We um, had uh, one zero in um, Manchester City. Manchester. I'm so. Yeah, Chester. Chester. I thought you said Manchester. <laughs> no, Mount Chester. Chester, yes. And um, we like the hotel. We like the town. That's one of the t towns that I would definitely go back to. We found a nice um, store there that. We decided to get new shoes, so now we have new shoes. Um, Terry's hoping that his new shoes will help um, with the pain in the back of his heel. He feels that uh, that um, you know that might might change um, something in his feet that he can feel better. And I'm hoping that my new shoes will give me more stability. Um, I like the the ones that we had before, but um, they were very thin and I don't know if that those were the best ones for this kind of terrain. Mine, the guy that sold them to me said that they were um, especially designed for the PCT. So I'll let you know if they're any good. Okay, see you later. Uh, lake. Picayune? Yes. Picayune Lake. We are at um, 600 feet of elevation. No, 6,000. I'm sorry, 6,000. 700 feet. Chester. How pretty. So happy to see the mountain again from another angle. Five twenty. And we find this little stream of water. So we're putting our feet in here. So nice to refresh our feet. The water is pretty cold, but it's very refreshing. Nice. It's seven o'clock and we have arrived to our campsite. And this is the view that we have from our campsite. Very flat. We have a fire ring if you want to get, put up a fire, I don't know, it's not cold, so. I don't know, is he saying we, we should be cowboy camping because there's no mosquitoes really? It's not breezy, it's not windy, it's not, <laughs> it's not hot, it's not cold, it's just like very comfortable. So I was just telling, is that 
when we were looking for hotels in Chester, um, they were charging you a higher fee for a view to Mount Chester, right, honey? Yes. How much? I think it was like another $50 a night. For another $50 a night. So here we get it for free. <laughs> and uh we get a direct view there's no buildings in front there's no roads there's no trees it's just a direct view and i praise the lord for the site that he had for us today he prepared this site for us and because it was not one of the sites that it's, it's on not the, listed it's not listed so um it's a gift from from god and we appreciate this it's been a long day because it's the first day and always the first day when we start hiking it's it's tough getting back into the the hiking routine and um carrying those very heavy backpacks full of food and water but we are doing great uh, my feet are good good my back is good how are your feet honey they're doing okay they're doing okay Good. Your shoes, do you like them? I don't know yet. I like them because I can't feel the rocks and stuff quite so much underneath them. Right. I have the but same. they are heavier and I don't have as much room in up front for my toes. Um, I have the same comment. It's, I felt that my feet were st sturdier on terrain like these rocks. So it's time for us to settle down, get some food and go to sleep and start all over again tomorrow. I'm sure we're gonna have a beautiful sunset and sunrise here, one or the other. Oh, it has, that would be the sun set over there. And uh, we'll see the sunrise. I think it's hard to tell because we're up trail, but it looks like about six and a half, seven miles is what we came today. Okay. Good morning from this beautiful sunrise morning. It's day 120 and we're getting ready to start moving. We decided to put the tent last night at last minute because it was windy a little bit and there were mosquitoes a little bit and I have to be honest, I always sleep better when uh, we have the tent up, so uh, we had a great night. Did you, baby? Yeah, I think I might have actually had a better night without the tent because the wind kept flapping the tent around. So. <laughs> well, we all have different opinions, <laughs> I guess. Well, I had a great night and uh, it's a beautiful morning. Not one cloud. Um, very fresh, it's not cold, it's not hot, it's very fresh right now. And uh, we're ready, we're stretching and we're getting ready to start a hike this morning. I'll see you later. We just came from this trail. We were looking at that view the whole time. And now we're to another side, the other side of the mountain, and we have this view. We have found a place to have breakfast and relax a little bit. So, honey, how high are we? Right now we're. 7,651 feet, which is higher than we've been now in quite some time. Yeah. Feels cool. Not cold. I am having an egg sandwich with mayo and everything. Vanilla. Some 
blackberries and sausage. How about you, baby? I had a beef stick and cheese. I'm having some coffee. Uh, blackberries too. Gonna have some blackberries also. Got to finish up my blackberries. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe a few cookies or something, or uh, one of these peanut butter cups. We'll see. We just had our delicious breakfast, and now we're hiking, and we are seeing where we're going. As uh, you start here and you go on, past that, past that, past that. Looks like we're gonna be going over some rock or rocky terrain. This lake is called Dead Falls Lake. Dead Fall. Dead Fall. Someone's What's having fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone's laughing. It's lunch time for us. And I'm eating a tuna sandwich with lettuce and tomato and some chips. My husband just ate some salami and cheese and chips and water with lemon. This is our view. Again, on Chasta from another angle. This is so rocky. Good evening. We have arrived at a campsite tonight. We did 18.1 miles and we had cowboy camping because our site is so small we can barely feed in here um, but that's everybody's problem there's seven people out there or eight people out there just eating and wondering why they're going to camp tonight because there's not too many campsites around here so yeah it was a tough day Hi, honey. <coughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, yeah. 18 miles was enough. Absolutely, it was enough. Our feet are feeling it in our body too, but. Not really liking my new shoes much. Yeah, too bad. Going back to to I'm your ultras. Really go back to the ultras. Well, I don't know about my shoes either. I was pretty tired. My feet were hurting today at the end when they usually don't hurt. But it could be just that my shoes are just new and I have to break them. But um, we're ready to go to bed and get some rest and start tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. It's 6 o'clock and it's day 121 for us. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, we had a 
okay night. It wasn't yeah. the best. Yeah, we're kind of sleeping with our heads down. I don't know how good of an idea that is. Uh, we, had, we had ants crawling all over yeah. us. A few ants. <laughs> People talking a lot and well finally fell asleep. Got up early and we're ready to start walking. But no one else camped here. Everyone left. Yeah, everyone left. The idea today is to um, do 20 miles like it was yesterday, but yesterday we just couldn't make it. It was just too hard. And there is a tent spot in 19.1, so we'll probably end up stopping there. Whatever comes we'll first. But we're getting a good early start. Yesterday we started at 7. That was another thing that didn't help. So we'll keep hiking and we're having fun. We're bod our bodies are okay. And uh, we'll see you down the trail. And if my math is right, if we do 19 today, that will leave us with uh, having to do two 12 mile days, or no, a 12 mile day, if we do another 19, right? And we, we had said 20, 20, and 10, because yeah, we have 50 yeah, yeah. miles to cover in three days. So if we do two 19s, we'll end up doing a 12 on the last day. So uh -huh. that's, that's okay too. That's okay too. <laughs> See you down the trail. It's 11.47 and we have arrived at um, this road that it's uh, called, uh, what? Highway 3? Highway 3. And we have a good little park here. And I wonder what this is. Would that be trail magic? Wow, that would be awesome. Yes, you have. Can. Yes, you do. How are you? Good, yourself? We're doing great. What is this? Trail magic. Yeah, yeah. Wow, nice. Oh. Awesome. Yes. Thank you. This is awesome. Hi. This is 331. And we have found a bunch of cows. A mile 1564.9. So <laughs> weird. Just like cows, just like. Hi, Mr. Cow, Mrs. Cow. Nothing around here I can see on the map. I don't know where these cows are coming from, but they're here. I know last night I heard some. Four o'clock, and we have reached a good amount of water that we haven't seen for a while. So this is nice. Let's soak our feet in it because we are very hot. It's been a very long and hot day today. We're hearing of people that have been experiencing heat exhaustion. How do you say that? Heat exhaustion. And. Uh, I can see why it's just been very, very hard. And right now we're under shade, but we have gone to a lot of places that have no shade at all. Very exposed. So Iz and I will be taking our shoes off and putting our feet in this wonderful, delicious water. Oh, nice. 6.13. We have we have arrived to our campsite where we can see um, Mount Shasta again from another angle. Beautiful. It's been a long, hot day uh, of hiking, but very blessed. We got Trail Magic. Um, thank you to uh, Buzz who gave us the trail magic. We got pepperoni and cheese and watermelon and Coke and homemade cookies. It was awesome. This uh, trail magic people, I know someone asked us if they accept any donations or if they 
do it out of their heart. They do it out of their heart. They don't accept any donations. We have tried to give them something and they don't want to accept anything. Um, they live, either they live nearby and they, they are hikers themselves and different things, but um, they do it out of their hearts. So, this is our campsite. No, that's perfect, beautiful, beautiful, because we'll be able to have that view. Very nice. We have already one tent here, back over there. But for the most part, people are still hiking. So we are blessed that we got our, our campsite here and we can eat something and go to bed. We did 19.1 miles, right honey? Yep. So that means tomorrow we can do another 19 and the next day we can do a 12, right? So yeah, happy. And feeling good. You feeling okay, baby? Feeling good. Yeah, me too. Good night. Good morning. This is day 122. We woke up early and we started to hike early. This is a sunrise from where we are hiking. We've been hiking for about half an hour. Yep. And uh, what's the plan today, honey? Oh, we're probably going to try to do 17.3. If not, we're going to have to do 22.1 because no places to camp between the two. That's been made very clear in the app. Yeah, so, so we're going to do our best and we'll camp wherever we need to camp. Good morning. Mm. We had a good night's sleep. It was beautiful where we slept. It was so quiet and the the sunrise was beautiful. Okay, we we'll keep walking. So we're starting to see some burn area already. Terry had warned me about it that we might have to start seeing some burn areas. Not too bad yet. Oh, that over there? That over there? Yeah. It's a little barn you see. Little yeah. Barn. That's a sad thing. Yeah, we see a lot of burn already. Sad. Three little legs over there. One, two, three. <clears throat> just talking to is about how dangerous and how frightening it must have been for both animals and people that were nearby or way in here. Very devastating. Continue to walk through this very burned area, and now I can understand how people get frightened around here. It's so comfortable. Let me tell you, you hear things like cracking, and it's not pleasant. Very, very sad on top of that. Okay, let's walk quickly past this area. Seven. 56 and we have come to the top of this mountain beautiful view we'll 
have breakfast here. Just came out of that burned area. Pretty bad. Ah, we've been just walking through these burnt areas. There's just like no stop to it. And then we come out here and we see everything dead. Everything dead here. And the other mountain, everything burned and dead. It's so sad. think this is it's a splat all over my husband says the tree is bleeding <sighs> oh it's just weird I keep hiking in this burned area not fun let me tell you we just heard something fall and we have no idea where Lunch. We have a visitor. He's having lunch too. He's seen us, but he's not worried about anything. Six thirty-four, and we already arrived to our campsite and decided to move on because it's uh, we did seventeen point seven something like that, and we decided that we're going to challenge ourselves a little bit and do the four point eight to the next campsite um, so that tomorrow we don't have that many miles. We only have ten get to town so um, we just had our dinner in that this campsite and uh, we saw our friends um, Jojo and Shlan, Shlan, Shlan and uh, so we're hiking we're hiking until we can find something or uh, 4.9 4 or 4.8 It's 8.12, almost sunset. And we still have to do all this, all this, all this, all this, and all that up to there. 1.3 to go. I'm exhausted. I have no choice. There's nowhere to sleep around here. So let's keep going.
27. We made it to the, the top of one. is amazing. 8.30. We are point what? Point six? Seven. Point seven to our campsite. What a challenge. I'm so proud of ourselves. This was hard. These abs are like, sometimes you even need a rope. <laughs> it was so high. It's a beautiful sunset. Look at that. last little bit of up and then we are down beautiful sunset absolutely gorgeous Now we are at the top. We came from over there. And now we're going to over there. As you can see, it's a burn area. So now let's find a campsite. In point five, it's nine o'clock. People are sleeping. People are sleeping here. We just got here. Day 123. We got last night to our campsite at about 9 and we did 22.1 miles. UP, a new PR. <laughs> personal, personal record. Record. <laughs> okay, it's 6 12, 6 15, and we just left camp and this isn't real. We have uh, tree after tree after tree that we have to climb. We only have about 8.5 miles to get to town. So we're rushing because we really want to get there as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful morning. There's a lake down there. The sun's up. So we're 7.55 and we got to this lake. We're gonna have breakfast here. It's a campsite, so some people are still getting ready. That's a um, carton and hummingbird. Caught up with them. And those two guys back there, I don't know if you can see the pepper. Back there, they were having a swim. There we're having a swim in the in the lake. I think it's a bit too cold for me and too early. They, they looked at let they were enjoying it. So <laughs> I went to do my 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 cocoa to, to make my cocoa this morning and I got my spoon. I managed to bend it last night while I was cooking <laughs> some pasta. And um, another comment that I had was that Terranet was um, commenting about last night the stars were so bright. It was 
it's just like a beautiful sky. It's too bad the camera can't capture the the sky. It just comes out black. But it was beautiful, right, honey? Beautiful. We enjoyed that. It wasn't the best night, but we managed. And the sky was so beautiful that we were okay. Okay, we'll see you down the trail. We don't know what mountain that is. So we'll try to figure it out. We'll find out. Smith Lake. Three miles to the road. Three miles to the road. We are at the top of the mountain. Show you guys the view from here. Beautiful lake. And this way to it, I think. Yes. Okay. Oh, we got to the road. And we need to find a ride. We'll see. You can take us because there's a lot of people coming. We're in a bubble. So, I'll see. Okay, now we wait for an angel to come and pick us up. There's <laughs> um, lots of people hiking today, but they're all growing up, so nobody's going to be coming down, going into it at night anytime soon. So, we have the mercy of the Lord. So, we made it to the Edna Motel. This is where we have reservations. We had a hiker that was hiking a section um, come off the trail and he saw us standing there and he said that he would take us to Edna. So, here we are. This is one of the two hotels that are in Edna. It has only 10 rooms and they're all booked. <laughs> um, we met this girl, lost and found, from Canada. And she had not made a reservation, so she didn't know where to go. She didn't have a place to stay because everything is booked. I tried to reserve a massage for tomorrow. They are booked for two weeks. So everything here is pretty much taking because it's a small town.